I mean, a part of me would like to see John Barron come back. Yeah. I would like to see Jack back. That is that 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 I want to see. I yeah. want to see Jack back in any form. It, well, not that any be it form. Torchwood or be, it... Be, it, be it Torchwood, be it some form of Torchwood in in Doctor Who, or just he comes back off an adventure or something. Mm -hmm. I, I I want to see Jack back in his RAF blue. Trench coat. It, it, it has been ten years since we last saw him. Well, almost ten years. It's been a long time. He, has, he does. He, he, I mean, actually, you know what? He's aged quite well. He has, and he does love Torchwood. But the one thing you do know about Jack is obviously Jack ages at a slower rate than any other character. So if yes. you see John Barrowman slightly older, you have to sort of put it quite a far ahead in time. Yeah. To sort of, so if you bring Jack back, what I would do with Jack, if we, if you, because if we go with that idea for now. Um, I would probably set a story probably about a couple hundred years mm. in the future. Oh yeah. Um, long after Torchwood's gone. Yes. Um, the long after the. I think because I think. Ah, but then that saying that though, well would, his would own Torchwood disappear though? I don't know. Or would know. it just be set up under a different, like different order? I mean, it sort of got blown up after the map, map and it sort of lingered a bit after that, didn't it? Really, and then well, they yeah, picked it up and have, have revived it again in Cardiff. Exactly. Um, so it's kind of difficult to. The place where it is at mm. the moment. To be well, clear. I mean, you've only got to look back at the end of um, Miracle Day. Yeah. I had to think then. <laughs> good, good to bring on the DVDs. <laughs> the DVDs are right there, so I can just glance across and be like, eh, oh, that's, yeah, that's serious. Um, that's serious there. Because you've got to think, though, you've got Jack's back. Jack never died, clearly. No. And then you've got the other dude. I can never remember his name. Rex. Rex. They, who is now also immortal. I mean, if you want me to touch upon what happened, because Big Finish got the license to Torchwood once series from after series four. They produced what's officially series five and six. Quoted by Russell T. Davis. Russell's given the permissions, the BBC have given the permissions. I don't think the BBC are gonna bring Torchwood back. It's too far down. I think I think the BBC now. would would um, um I think at this point the BBC have kind of gone, it's a dead horse. They've rebooted the Cardiff branch, they've written Gwen out and brought in a brand new team along with Von Hartman from, from Torchwood 1, a parallel universe version of Von Hartman. Well, yeah, cause I know um, she, no, because I know she... She yeah. became a Cyberman, didn't she, at the end of yeah, it? The, yeah, that was the... Earth what one. we see is, is uh, her... I don't know if it's Pete's well, but parallel universe version of her. But yeah, I would bring back some form of Torchwood into Doctor Who so it's got something else that it can branch off to. So it can... It can sort of go off and do its own things. I mean, Graham could go and work for Torchwood. You know, he could sit there and and, and do things. They've, you know what's funny is they because obviously Resolution wrote out Unit. Yes. Sort of. People had people went up in arms about this because they just went they basically rip Unit, a, a, an organisation that's been in the show since the nineteen seventies, out for the use of a Brexit joke, which people went. <laughs> I mean, no, I but, I admit I did <laughs> chuckle at that because it's well funding from from the yeah, but I felt that I was like okay, they haven't because people at the end of the day they haven't actually written units out, they've suspended no. units. Yeah, they've they, um, they've put so, unit on hold. So that sort of situation would probably apply if Torchwood was around as well. Yeah, since they're probably government funded as well. Yes, um, I mean, but then as as they say anyway. So that's we I'm, digress. We digress. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I've just got this recently, just to throw, you know. Are you trying to plug Big Finish? No, I'm just saying that they, they did what the TV series never did. <laughs> well, that's because it, it was a market that people wanted. Or, I say people, the fans wanted. They wanted Vastro, Jenny and Strax together doing a thing. And the BBC have kind of gone, oh, but nobody would be interested. Or, oh, it'll cost too Do you know much what it money. was? It was the money problem because a Victorian, <laughs> a Victorian London, which a is difficult, you have to do a period piece, and b you've got to you've got to get both me, even Mac and Josh and Dan Starkey into a Silurian and Sontaran costume on a weekly basis. Yeah, um, which they would have done, but the cost on prosthetics and stuff would have would have been a bit more expensive. So yeah. those are the reasons why Class happened instead of the Paternoster Gang series. We uh, don't talk about Class. We don't though. talk about Class, but we will be revisiting at some point. Oh dear God. And you know what's the fun thing about that is you'll never know when that's going to happen. I'm just going to no, go, I might class, let's go. And I'm going to be there going, oh dear god, what have I let myself in for? <laughs> I'm going to be there going, I need something it's stiffer it's than tea. It's either that or the canine series. Not canine and company, I'm talking about the Australian canine series. Oh god, oh no. Anyway, we've gone off kilter again. Okay, yes, I, I, I shit on Cr Chibnall, uh, not Chibnall, Moffat, all the time. Yeah. I, I, I on him repeatedly. But 
I will say this, the, the arc that River Song had for me was amazing. Yeah. I loved it. You didn't know what was going on. No. She just popped up here, then went away. Popped up it's over funny here. How, how funny that started out as uh, River wasn't intended to come back up. So no, she right. was actually. She yeah. actually no, because they had a. Um, it seems his initial plan was because when she became popular, and actually I will expand upon this because he wanted to make it more of a mystery anyway. Mm. Um, but it's my computer making noises. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to drop this in this video now, and um, purely because um, I, there's an announcement I have to make about something that's coming up. It's still a bit far off, but mm -hmm. it involves Mr. Michael Bray here, um, and we are planning a podcast. Yes, that's going to be a thing, because I, I will, forgot that, about that. That will be a thing. Currently at this stage, this when I say planning a podcast, this is me saying I want to do a podcast, but I've not made any development <laughs> stages into, into processing that. I've got Apart a, from I've got saying that we are watching um, every single episode. We are going from the beginning. From the beginning to the end. To the somewhere end. Somewhere down. So expect yeah. to join us watching Twice Upon a Time in 2097. Um, at which point we'll be on the 412th Doctor. Uh, <laughs> by which point I shall probably be a lot greater. Yeah, we'd probably be sort of robotic creatures by the end of it. But it's yes. going to be a time team thing, so I, we're hoping to maybe launch it in the new, in the new year. Yes, um, it's going to be good. a lot of planning. It, well, it's, it's not so much planning, it's more just organising the time to do it. Yeah, because it requires me to, to get the equipment sorted. I'm going to acquire a laptop and, and bits and pieces to sort of run it solely. Yeah. A new, a new YouTube channel will be will be brought upon. The name is still to be confirmed, but I've got a couple of really good ideas for it. Yes. Um, and so I actually have. And it requires us to meet up very regularly to watch. Which is fine by me. Yeah. I have no problems with that as so, long as we have food, tea bags, coffee, milk, and sugar. Yes. <laughs> if we have that, all things are good. So, that's, that, that's how it works. There's a lot to get through. So there, there's the announcement there. We are planning a podcast. Um, stay tuned. Um, hopefully it might have a degree of sort of announcement of when we're going to begin it in the new year. Yes. We're still a way off it. We haven't even got a name yet. So Or a logo. Or a logo. Or Although that is an area of my expertise. So then... I will say this. I have actually got... I won't reveal it at the moment. I have a name in mind. I have a logo in mind. Mm -hmm. I have a couple other ideas on where to start this. Um, even better is we can share I'm the sort ideas. I'm half waiting for the Blu-ray sets to start coming out a bit more because I've only got series season 12, 18 and 19 at the moment. Um, so when they drop a few more of those I might have some degree of traction with, with watching some. Yeah. And I'm going to start buying the DVDs to fill the gaps. Um, yes. Which, you know, that's another thing, cost, because watching these I need to buy... I have seasons 1 and 2, what exists of seasons 1 and 2 on DVD, <laughs> yeah. so that will fill us out for a bit. Um, but once I get to season three and four, we're gonna have some issues with missing episodes. Um, <laughs> aren't we just? Aren't we just? So that's the announcement. So a podcast yes. is coming. So if you liked us rambling, there's gonna be a lot of that in the future. There's going to be a lot of us rambling and a lot and of hopefully, tea drinking. You know, we'll be talking about the subject matter as opposed to get, you know talking about the, heart, the Aztecs and end up <laughs> rambling about the Saragin Adventures. So who knows? Who knows? Ah, who knows? Funny. Who knows? Yeah. But one of the major writers, Terence Dix, he did some real, real big, he did the Five Doctors, he did rather big 20th anniversary stuff. Yeah. Um, he's written some, some, of the, some of the most popular ones, and I think, I'll get him to write one, because I think he knows the show, and I think he can, mm. um, but yeah, the, it, 